was that Russia must con conquer Turkey and ally itself with Eastern Europe. Now we know that's got to be so because let's look at that image again. Let's come down one step. Look at the Grecian. Now we've talked about this territory over here. Ignore that now. We've covered that in the Medo-Persian territory. But now let's go up into here. What do we expect to happen? We expect Turkey and Greece to come under Russian control or to be allied with Russia. Exactly what we read a few moments ago. The king of the north shall come against him. Now we haven't time to look at it in any detail, but him is the territory of Turkey, occupied by the king of the south or defeated by the king of the south in the First World War. Ezekiel uh, Daniel 11 compass world history from the days of Daniel right through to now. So packed into those verses, sometimes is a hundred years. And that's indeed the case here. So we've got to see Russia control Turkey. Huh. Go to Moscow. And on the top of the churches, you see their dream. What's their dream? Well, this is it. There's the cross. What's this? That's the symbol of Turkey. You see, the Muslims kicked the Christians out in 1453 and they fled to Moscow. They want to return. We want to retake Istanbul. And indeed, the Bible says that will happen. They want the cross to dominate over the moon, the symbol of the Muslim. We're going back a little here. But when Russia took Crimea up here, Ergenen boldly and possibly foolishly stated to Russia, don't you hurt our, our Turkmen people, the Tatars, those who are ex-Turkish people who are in the area of Crimea. And traditionally they have, they've oppressed them. He said, if you continue to do that now or do so again, we will close the Bosporus on you. He hasn't done so yet. He's slowing the ships down through there at the moment. But indeed, he warned the Russia. And the paper was aghast. You must be crazy, Mr Ergen, to say that to Putin. That's a foolish thing. But now things are moving dramatically again. Russia wouldn't al wasn't allowed to fly over the top of Turkey to bring equipment into Syria. So Putin had a few words to say. This is what he said. Putin to Turkey, if necessary, we can stage a swift military coup against you unless you desist from your desperate acts of supporting the violent Al-Qaeda terrorists. And so he told them, just watch it. But things haven't stopped there. Turkey's in chaos. Turkey on the brink of civil war. With the, in the back blocks of Turkey is a group called the Kurds. And just only a few weeks ago, there was fighting taking place between them. Civil war within the country in a minor way. And then, then, one of the Turkish planes, it seems, shot down a Russian plane. Here we can see the plane flying, the Russian plane flying. Only over a little bit of Turkey, enough. And Turkey acted and brought it down. Probably the plane was going to bomb allies of Turkey. And so they destroyed it. But that's not what you do to Russia. He is the Prime Minister of Russia, not Mr Putin this time. There he is speaking. And he says Russia is preparing a wide-ranging economic sanctions against Turkey. And they have indeed hundreds of trucks on the way from Turkey to Russia have been stopped. We're not going to buy your stuff. You might have on board tomatoes and potatoes and you name it. They'll go rotten. Doesn't matter. And so economic pressure is coming from Russia on Turkey. But it doesn't stop there. Immediately, Russia moved in to this region here, these missiles, with a massive range, huge range, the very best Russia's got, the S-400, with capability of hitting most of Turkey and half of Israel. There they are effectively transforming most of Syria into a no-fly zone under Russian control. And so, all right, Russia's not yet taken Turkey, but it's threatening on every side. We just might come aside a little bit, but 
in one of our early writings in Eureka, volume 5, page 185, 186. Ask me again later if you've gotten it, and I'll give it to you. But Dr. Thomas wrote many, many years ago that he expected Turkey to fall, yes, but after Christ returned, not before. And so we can see how close things look. How long could it be before Russia could act on them? We don't know, but time is super short. But now we want to look at Europe. And Europe's under trouble. The effect on Europe of the arrival of the immigrants, and amidst them, probably, terrorists. They're coming in droves. This year, by boat alone, over a half a million migrants crossed the Mediterranean Sea into Europe by late September 2015. Look at them. Huge numbers coming into these various countries, taking huge risks to get into those countries, swarming into the area. They reckon around about 4,000 a day have to be assimilated in these areas. Huge numbers. And they're not easy to assimilate. We won't read all of this, but huge numbers this year. This year, 1.5 million. Last year, huh, 202,000. So four times bigger, five times bigger already. And, you know, they might offer them a position as apprentice. 70% walk away from the job. Whereas local people, if offered the apprenticeship, would about 10% fail on it. You know, you go into a supermarket, they say, and there's a queue up there, all the ladies getting their groceries. Up comes a Muslim man with his trolley. And he said, I man, you woman, barges in the front. Different spirit. Europe's finding things quite different. They're going on hunger strikes, launching lawsuits against the countries that are kindly accepting them. And they're demanding immediate homes and apartments. They reckon the police in areas are terrified to arrest them or to constrain them. And so, going across Europe, a wall's going up rapidly. Turkey. Bulgaria, Serbia, Ukraine, just to say a few. Look, here's another map. Look at them going up here. A new iron curtain, they say, where the fences are going up across Europe to keep the migrants out. It's the end of the project, the Schengen pro zone project, which allows people to go across Europe without being checked at every border. You go to Europe today, as many of you will have, you might come in from Britain, get checked at the port. As soon as you get into Europe, you can go anywhere you like without being checked with your passport. Not anymore. That, ho that plan is stopping, it's breaking up. Certainly in these areas, at these walls, you've got to be checked before you go in. They're trying to stop the, the immigrants coming in. But one of the areas where they're building up is Greece. It's a similar Greece. And in the door, Mr Putin, standing there, saying, we'd like you on our side. How the migrant crisis could accelerate the break-up of Greece, Greece's exodus. A terrorist attack in, pa in Paris led to the hardening of attitudes across the continent. A chain reaction has taken place. Cro Cro Croatia, Serbia, Macedonia swiftly closed their own borders. And Greece stands to get really badly hurt. And he's talking about saying, let's get out of this EU. Let's go and join Russia. You can rely on Russia. Look what he's doing for Mr Assad. You can rely on him. And they're talking about changing. Just to the north, east of Russia, Ukraine. Look at the date. A week or two ago, the power pylons were blown up. Crimea gets its electricity from Ukraine. Now it's in darkness most of the time, at night. And so Russia has halted supplies of energy to Ukraine. It's halted the passing of natural gas and oil through Ukraine. But look at Ukraine. There's the pipelines. Bulk of them pass in through there to Europe. Only a few days ago, cut. 
40 per cent currently of the energy in Europe comes through those pipelines. Winter's on the way. And the fires in the homes won't be driven by natural gas. Many of the oil supplies may be eliminated and stopped. Things are looking very desperate at Europe right now.